Hi there, Andreas, Peer, and Miss Coyne. This is Simon from Pinewood AP. Hope you're all well. Uh, yeah, just getting back to you with regards to showing you some sample reports from our side. Uh, sorry for the slight delay. Uh, yeah, we've been quite busy on a couple of implementations and preparing for a couple more as well. So, uh, but yeah, just wanted to get back to you uh, with regard to uh, the email you sent through and also yeah, the conversations that we had in person as well with regard to your reporting requirements. Uh, and looking specifically at these reports uh, that we discussed, uh, what we thought we'd do is we thought we'd select um, three of these reports just to give you a feel of uh, how you can view and extract uh, the information from the Pinnacle system uh, as it stands. The, the, we believe that all the information is within the system um, and it's a case of formatting a system report um, so that you can get that information out in your required format. Um, so the three that we picked, just to get a spread of uh, different types of data really, and three that we thought were quite uh, quite key reports. Firstly, uh, was the, the parts movement report. So looking at by part number and obviously part description, looking at the, the opening quantity and value of each part, and then the movements through the period in terms of quantity and value through to the closing balance, so the closing quantity and value for each of those parts. Secondly, uh, we picked uh, the receivables. I think actually, we showed you the, the, the payables, but essentially the same theory in terms of the either the purchase or sales ledger, so by uh, customer or by supplier, uh, the opening balance in terms of debits and credits, the movement through the period of debits and credits, through to the closing balance as well of the, the debits and credits across, across the period. And then finally, uh, the trial balance, which I think we spoke about whilst, whilst we were there as well. Um, yeah, the trial balance by account uh, and with the account details showing the opening debits and credits, the movements through the period, debits and credits, through to the reconciled closing balance of debits and credits. Okay, and I think in these required reports that you sent across, the, these were uh, annual, but I think as well you're, you want to look at these monthly and even um, selecting the start and end dates. And yeah, we're absolutely confident you can do that. So to show you what we've built out already, yeah, to look at those in turn. So yeah, firstly, the, the parts movement report. So this is, this is just sample data. Um, and we've built out, so looking at the start date from 1st of January through to the 1st of October, just so we can get some data in here to show you. And yeah, this was, to be honest, the, these were relatively easy to build out. Obviously, we want to make sure that we get the correct format uh, and the correct data in there for you. So we'd, we'd be required to spend a little bit more time with you um, just to make sure we've got the right data in the right place. But yeah, just to show you as a sample. So yeah, this is um, currently what you can get out of out of Pinnacle um, for parts movements by part number, uh, which you can order um, and filter. At the moment, it's ordered by part description. Uh, yeah, the opening balance, uh, quantity and value, any movements here, so quantity and value, through to the closing balance that's reconciled as well. Yeah, so that's that set up and essentially built from um, background tables uh, that are already uh, that already exist in Pinnacle. So it's a case of linking those through and then structuring the report how you how you want to how you want to build it. And these dates are filterable as well. And also to say all of this is exportable to Excel. So these are live reports uh, that you can look at. Um, system reports if you like, um, but then as well you can export all of this information into Excel as you need to report it. So yeah, that was the first one, the parts movements. Then looking at, we actually looked at accounts payables. Um, so yeah, in terms of what was uh, what's owed to, to suppliers. And again, so looking at the other yeah, opening balance uh, in terms of opening uh, debits and credits, any movements during the period, reconciling to that closing balance again. Um, what we actually did here is we were we were playing around a little bit with uh, with filters that you could add on top of the data as well. Um, but yeah, absolutely, you can you can report on the regulatory requirements uh, in the format that you require, and then afterwards or at the same time during a month, then maybe you're looking to analyze the data a little bit deeper. You can apply filters to maybe look at um, 
invoices that were queried, for example, and just to filter for those amounts by supplier. So that's so that's relatively relatively quick to analyze as well. And then finally for the trial balance, so this is the trial balance that we looked at with the sample data that we had. Uh, to start with, the, yeah, these are these are blank opening uh, balances because that's a profit and loss. Just looking at the start of the period, so that's okay. So there's nothing to start with, but into the balance sheet. Yeah, so balance sheet, for example, um, picking one account. So yeah, just picking, yeah, maybe that, yeah, owned computer uh, cost lo in one location. Uh, yeah, so here we can see it's got the opening balance, uh, 7,100 debit, no credit. And then movements through the year, maybe that's a purchase, maybe that's a depreciation, not sure, but that's the equivalent um, data there from the from the accounting transactions that it would pull uh, in between these two dates that you can set through to the closing balance, reconciling to those to those debits and credits. Um, that's which is hopefully the the financial reporting formatting uh, that you're after. Um, yeah, so just wanted to to show you that in terms of what we've been able to build out. Um, uh, more recently and yeah very confident that we can build out the rest of the information we believe it's all information within pinnacle it's a simply a case of making sure you can get a live report out in the the format that you require um so yeah please let us know if you've got any further questions and yeah we'll be, we'll be in touch speak to you all soon thanks bye